Hello, driving intelligence community. Well, let's get into a little boating intelligence. It's the dog days of summer. You have a boat, you want to go out on the boat and you get everything moving forward. You got it all packed up. You got your friends on board and the boat just doesn't agree with you. You know what they say, the best two days of owning a boat are the day you buy it and the day you sell it. Or they also say that a boat is a hole in the water you just continuously throw money into. Well, fortunately, my friends invited me to go out on their boat, and I happened to have uh, some basic skills that I used to resolve a major issue that they had with the boat. Now, this is a pontoon boat with a Mercury 115 CT engine, outboard engine on it. And when we went to pull the boat out of the slip, the motor would go down with the switch on the throttle position or throttle. But as soon as you let go of that switch, the motor would come back up. So we did a, a quick internet search and what the internet says, and actually the mechanic, their mechanic that they called up said that this is a hydraulic system failure, probably need to have the hydraulic system rebuilt or replaced. And I thought that was just too complex an issue. I always say uh, the KISS principle is the most appropriate, keep it simple, stupid. To me, it seemed like this was an electrical issue and probably corrosion because the motor would go down, the uh, but the motor would not stay down once the switch was released. So here's here's what I observed. If it was hydraulic, you would have heard some gurgling, or there would have been some uh, jumpiness to the motor as it was going down or up. I didn't see any issues with the way the hydraulic system was operating. It just would not stay in the down position. So the first thing that came to mind for me was corrosion in the switch. That switch that was on that's on the throttle. So what I decided to do was disconnect the electrical connector to that switch underneath the console. Just disconnected that. There are three, it's a three-wire switch. And I went back to the motor where you have a switch on the motor that allows you to lower that motor to the lowest position. And guess what? It stayed in the lowered position. So that told me there was an electrical problem at the throttle with the switch. We spent the day on the boat, had no problems. We couldn't obviously trim it up and down as we were moving across the lake, but it did not prevent us from having a good time on the boat. Now, what's the long-term solution? Well, I told him to buy some CRC cleaner. Uh, that's an electrical contact cleaner and just copiously spray into that switch, all kinds of CRC cleaner all around the perimeter of that switch to see if you can break up some of that corrosion. Now, I, one of the things I failed to mention is one of the reasons I figured it was also electrical was that the, the gauge on the dash that gives you trim level indication was stuck in the middle position. It would not go to the full up position. So again, this told me there was an electrical signal problem, not a hydraulic problem. If the CRC cleaner doesn't work, then what they're gonna have to do is just replace that little switch. But we're talking maybe less than $100 versus having to pay probably thousands of dollars to rebuild that hydraulic system in that that motor and it wouldn't have fixed the problem so anyway i hope this helps you out i hope uh, you don't have any dog days of summer where you're not able to get out in your boat this is this kind of issue keeps you from moving out uh going out boating and enjoying time with your friends if this helped you and if you like this video please give me that thumbs up and uh, i'll see you next time on boating intelligence aka driving intelligence